Welcome to a tour of it on Bitsy 8. In this video, we're going to continue building on our knowledge within Bitsy. So we now know that we can have a single avatar, the thing we move around, and a tile, which potentially could be background or a wall, a thing we can't pass through, and then we can have sprite and item. Now, as we built across these videos, we now have multiple sprites and multiple tiles. Sometimes, though, we want to split up a story into different sections, and we saw as we've learned in the previous video, that we call these sections rooms within Bitsy. So I want to have a new section of this particular game. What I want to do is I want to start in one room and then move over to the room that we currently call Zoo. So I want to create an entrance and then we want to leave the entrance and come to the room called Zoo. So as we saw when we created new tiles and new sprites, that we can use the icons that are right underneath this, left, right, plus, duplicate, and delete, that exists within tile. So left, right here, right, plus, duplicate, and delete, that exists for a tile and sprite. I'm now going to come over here to room and do the same thing. So I'm going to go over here for in the room tool right here, and I'm going to click plus right here and add a new room. Now notice when we add a new room, it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have the avatar, doesn't have any tiles, doesn't have any sprites, and doesn't have any items. But that's okay, because we can start to add those. So I'm going to go ahead and call this entrance, then I'm going to go over to the paint tool right here, click on tile. I'm going to use blocks. Blocks are currently our walls. Walls are selected. And so I'm going to draw kind of a simple square up here for the tiles that are serving as our wall. Come over to avatar over here in the paint tool, drop our avatar over on the far left hand side. So while I have these set up, what I want to do now is I want to create an exit from this room that then takes us to another room. To do that, we need to switch what we've been doing. So we've currently been painting using the paint tool. We've been placing the avatar, tiles, and sprites. Within the room tool right here, I'll come down to paint, pick, and I want exits and endings. So paint, pick, exits, and endings. Right next to that is a little breakout button, and I'm going to click that. Now, Bitsy has lots and lots of tools that have somewhat specific or very context-sensitive options. We've seen with the paint tool, we can paint various things, the avatar, tiles, sprites, and items, and we've seen multiple other tools. As we start to get used to doing things within Bitsy 8, we'll start to get used to opening and closing various tools as we need them. In this case, we need the tool that deals with exits and endings because we want to make an exit from entrance to go to the zoo room. So from the entrance room to the zoo room. So it says there are no exits or endings in this room yet. You can add one with this tool. Well, hey, the interface is exactly the same as we've seen for tiles and sprites and now rooms. And now we're going to do it for exits. So I'm going to add right here a new exit. When it gives me options, I want exit right here. So it understands there are currently two rooms and it's telling us, hey, you will exit up here. And then you will return, that is, show up in a new room down in Zoo 1313 and Entrance 22. So what I'm going to do is with this room currently selected over here in Room Tool, I'm going to come over to Exits and Endings, and I'm going to click on Move. And I'm going to place it right over here. So currently, in the upper right-hand corner, I have moved this up here. And notice it moved it over here. So kind of overlaid this. Now I'm going to over here in the room tool, go back to zoo, come back over to room exit in this tool right here, click on move, and then click up here. So we will leave up here in entrance in the upper right, and then we will show up, go through that is to another room over here in 8 1. So with the entrance is 13 2 in entrance room, and we will show up in Zoo 8 1. So let's go ahead and play that. So visiting the zoo, notice I'm starting at whatever room is currently shown. So despite the fact that we were working on the zoo room, we're now starting at the entrance room, and I'm going to move up to 13 2, and now we've moved over here. Except 
uh, oh look, now we can move forward and back again. So up here and come out over here and come down down here. So that's fun. It is a two-way exit. We can exit one thing to go to the other one. And now notice we now have two sections of our story. We have an entrance room and a zoo room. So right now I'm going to go ahead and stop playing. It's not too terribly useful because we can't quite see what's going on. So now's a chance where we really get to think about what we want to do to serve as an indication that we can move between rooms. So we know we have a single avatar, that's the thing we move around, but we have potential for multiple tiles, multiple sprites, and multiple items. Well, if it's not something we're going to necessarily interact with, that is, it probably won't have dialogue, and it's not going to be something we use, which would be an item, and the thing is we interact with would be sprites, this might be a good chance to add a new tile. So let's come over to here to tiles, and I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to make kind of a door looking tile. And this is going to serve right here as our door. So I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, give this a name, sorry, call this door. And what I want to do is go ahead and come back over to paint. So currently we're in exits and, in, and endings, come back over to paint and then add a door right there. So now we've got a door right here. Notice it's a tile. Now we need to be very careful when using over here for this tile for door, I have wall turned off. This is not a wall, meaning we can pass through it. So now I need to come over to a different room, a different section of this game or story, and I'm gonna put in a new door right there. So coming back over here, we will then come into contact with this door, we will move over to zoo in this room. So let's kind of review what I've been talking about here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this tool so we can see how I reopened it. So previously in the videos we've seen so far, I've been painting. We've been painting the avatar, the thing we move around, and we've also seen how we can create multiple tiles. Tiles can be walls or not walls. If that tile is a wall, we can't pass through it. If it's not a wall, we can. We've also now seen sprites. We created multiple cats and multiple dogs and we put them in our zoo. Not quite touched on items, but we will get there. Now we wanted to add an exit because we want to move from one section of a game to another section of a game. And sections of a game in Bitsy we call rooms. So we created a new room and then we added tiles to it. They're acting as our wall. We placed the avatar within it, the thing we move around. And then we wanted to create an exit from one room to another room. So when using the room tool, we came down here for paint, pick, and then exits and endings. And then right next to that was a little pop out that popped out the exits and endings tool. So as we discussed previously, there are multiple tools within Bitsy, generally some for very specific or context specific purposes. Exits and endings is one of those tools. So whenever we want to create an exit from one room to another, this will help us to do it. I'll do a little bit of foreshadowing here and say there are other ways of creating exits we'll get to in a much more future video. In this case, it allows us to, within this room, we clicked move. I placed it right there where it currently is in 13.2 for entrance room. And then I went to a different room. And then over here in the zoo room, I went in and clicked on the return and we transitioned over here and I placed move and then move over to that right there. And then because I don't need this tool open, I'm going to go ahead and close it. So let's go back to entrance and entrance. We will move over to that door that we currently has as a tile. We will pass through it because it's not a wall, but because it's acting as an exit on that grid 13 two, we will then move into, if we play this, a different room. So I will move around right here using WASD or the arrow keys on a keyboard. I will then pass through a tile that is not set to wall that then acts as a two way door. So we can exit from zoo into entrance, from entrance into zoo. And then as we previously seen where we set up some tiles as walls and some tiles as glass, now we have an additional tile that's acting as a door. 
So with lots of interactions between avatar, multiple tiles, and multiple sprites, and now multiple rooms, each of which has a single exit connecting it together. We can exit one room to the next right here. Thanks for watching.